All right, here we go. Ooh, I think something's in it, Max. Ooh, Bass got him. Set the hook. What'd you draw right there? It's a hopscotch thing. Let's see it. Oh God, oh God. Get it, 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 get it. Boom! What is up, Mavericks? Welcome back to another very exciting video down here in Texas. We are at the house. I got Dab Master with me right here, crushing a uh, Buffalo Bayou More Cowbell Double IPA. Man, this is freaking delicious. We're walking out to the front of the house right now because we have a very special package from the Amazon, and it's probably a giant piece of garbage, but we're hoping that it's something that we can actually use. If you guys have been watching the last few episodes, we moved down to Texas. We have a badass property here, and we got a couple ponds. So the last video, we went out fishing in the ponds, and I caught some bluegill and caught some bass. The coolest thing was, we caught bass on the bluegill, which was super, super cool. Max freaking tore them up over there. And uh, basically what we're trying to do now is figure out what exactly lives in the pond. Hey, we got the packages. They did actually arrive. Pull my beer, Max. Do not drink that. Were you drinking that? No, I didn't. Are you sure you weren't drinking that? I'm just kidding. You can drink if you want to. Um, here's the package. We got this package, and then Max has a package right there. I don't think those are regarding what we're doing the video about today. But we are going to try to trap some fish, some crawdads, whatever type of species of animals lives in the ponds. We've seen some turtles, too. We don't really want to trap the turtles, but we're going to use them maybe for bait tomorrow. But basically, we're just trying to figure out what lives in this pond. And we got this package that has new fish traps in it from Amazon. So I don't know if it's anything that's gonna actually work, but should be a good time, Max? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> you bet. Okay, so if you guys aren't familiar with how the property lays out, we have two ponds. We have this one right back here. If you see back behind us, it's awesomely, it's super clean. It's got a bunch of great habitat in it. And if you guys look right here, we got fish everywhere right here. Those are a bunch of bluegills. So we got some good sized bluegills, some smaller ones. It seems like there's like hybrid bluegill because some of them have some crazy coloration, some bars. But if we stand here for a little bit, I don't know if we're gonna stand here that long right now, a bunch of bass show up. And some of the bass are actually really good size, but we don't really know what else lives here. There's a bunch of minnows and I really hope there's some crayfish. Yeah, there's a bass that's coming in. Right there, I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not, because you don't have badass Waterland sunglasses on. Here, he's coming up to us really close. The previous owners that lived here fed the fish, and so they all come right up to this area right here. We probably caught six or seven bass in this pond. I think three of them are like two and a half to three pounds. A couple of them are, are a little bit smaller than that, maybe like eight to 10 inches. But um, I, I don't know what even lives in here. And honestly, whatever we catch in our trap, we're probably gonna use for bait to try to catch some more fish tomorrow in the video. See, there's there's stuff scurrying around right here. You can see the little minnow fry. I don't know if there's a bass or what. All the bass we've caught in here have been like too small to even spawn. So maybe there's actually giant bass out there somewhere that spawned and gave birth to these guys. Or maybe those are bluegill. But the, it's too early for the bluegill to spawn. I don't even know what's happening. Anyway, so here's the second pond over here. This one's totally different. It's got a little bit of vegetation around the edge but it's way more stand. Is there, oh, there's actually ducks over there. That's kind of cool. Usually Emmy runs out and scares those away before we can even get to see them. But yeah, this pond, okay, see, there's still some, there's some little minnows down there. There goes one right there. This pond is a lot more stained, a lot less vegetation, but it seems like there's even more life in this one from the times that we fished out here the last couple days. And so we're gonna put some traps in these ponds. Let's go figure out the food situation. Let's unbox our new Amazon fishing traps, Max. These things were like 10 bucks a piece. They might be total pieces of garbage, but with all these, these ponds we got now and with all the sewer systems, and then of course we're by the ocean, we might eventually be doing something with like some trapping some crabs. I don't know if trapping crabs is even legal. Of course, we're gonna check all the re regulations on that, but um, oh God, dude, there's a big bass right there. Do you guys see that bass? I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, I see it, it's here. I think that's the one I caught earlier. Do you guys see that big bass? How about, should I put some water lands on the, the camera? You guys see him now? I can't tell if you can see him or not. Yep, he's right underneath the first lily pad right there. Hard to see him without the water lands on. <laughs> I can still see him. Can I you can the see water him? Lands? Yeah, put them on. Okay. It's like x-ray vision, dude. Oh, I see it now. Dang, that's really cool. A little easier? Yeah, much easier to see it. Yeah, the waterlands cut yeah. the glare really, really good. Those are the green mirrors. That's the ones I like to wear like all the time fishing. And with just a little bit of tent in the water right now, 
Those are freaking perfect. You like wearing those? Yeah. I'm about to get you some some prescription ones. They actually make those in the Waterland guys now. All right, let's 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 show them our, our box of of guys. Rip that some bitch like a man. Beauty, good rip. Okay, so we got two. So not to be confused with this guy, Max. This is our old one that we used at Larry's Ponds way back, oh, yeah. now I remember way back that. Brasky way. And this one we caught minnows, we caught crawdads. This one we actually caught a turtle in too. So that's potential to catch a damn turtle. Basically what you do with this is though, you got the little bait pouch right here inside of there. And then on the sides, it funnels down real small. And so they go in and they, they can't figure their way out, whether it's a minnow or a crawdad or what. Yeah, dude, these are probably the biggest piece of crap traps ever, but the biggest thing was I wanted to make sure that they were actually here while you were here. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Wow. 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 All right, so these have more holes in them, which means nothing, but it has more holes in them. So that's cool, I guess. Dude, I kind of like that. Okay, so these are a little bit different than that one in that, I don't know, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. They have six sides and six different opportunities for those fish to make a mistake. What'd you say? It's a hexagon. It is a hexagon. Damn it, Max. Glad to have you around telling me shapes and stuff. Did you just put the bait in the middle at this dude? I don't know, but here's what we need to do. Let's put, what do you think? I'm kind of curious. I, I kind of have a good idea of what kind of lives here. I can see there's like 20 bluegill and, and three bass right there in this one spot, but there's minnows everywhere too. And so I kind of want to see if they're bluegill or bass minnows. And then of course we're gonna use them and try to catch some fish on them tomorrow. But I'm more curious about what lives over there. And so we have another one of these traps and then we have the old school trap. And for bait, we got some, some of this little fish food right here. I don't know if it's fish food or cat food or what it is. It's what the previous owners of the pond left us. But the good thing about this is, this is what the fish are used to eating. Watch this. Look at that, they haven't been fed yet today. They're going crazy. By going crazy, I mean they're taking off. They're a little sketched out right now. So I say we put one of these traps in here, one of the new traps, and then uh, we'll put the other two in the other pond, Max? Yeah. You down with that? Kind of like that? Yeah, like that, yeah. And then we need to tie a string to this string that came with it. Dude, this thing is such a piece of crap. kind of like it, but it's a total piece of crap. So that's a pretty long little chain right there. So we're gonna be able to throw this out a little ways which kind of seems to defeat the purpose considering all those fish are right there, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna tie this like so, and I got my camp boots on right now with my dress clothes for having people over the night. That's what you wanna do. Can we just put it right there? Dude, let's put it where all these fish are, and maybe we'll catch some bait to use for, for bait tomorrow. There goes that bigger bass right there, that's crazy. All right, I'm gonna put this right here. Oh, that's actually perfect. All that food right there is floating to the top of the, the little trap. And then we'll just leave this. This doesn't even need to go anywhere because we can see it right there. Okay, Max, let's go get the other two. Let's put them on the other pond. I don't know if these Amazon traps are going to work. You think they will? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. It's funny. I looked at the reviews on Amazon for this, Max, and it was, you know, like every Amazon review. It's about four stars, and half the people said wouldn't even work out of the box. And the other half of the people said it's the best product they've ever used. So this is our old one. It at least takes bait in this little pouch right here. It's got a little bait pouch guy, see? Whether that works at all, I have no idea. Catch one of those ducks. <laughs> I'm not sure they would fit in that trap. They probably wouldn't. We're gonna eat them if they do? Oh, that's a thing? Uh, yeah, ducks are delicious, dude. I don't know about those over there, but... Alright, here we go. That was terrible. It went upside down. That's okay. There it sinks. I feel pretty good about this. Can't even see it now. Nope. Cannot. Alright, uh, other side for this one? Yeah, other side. What if the uh, other one that we used at Larry's Pond works... Get, catches twice dude, as many fish as the other ones. This thing is badass. We, remember, we caught crawdads in this too. I remember that, yeah. yeah. Then we ate them. Then we ate them. Boom. All right. Good luck, little cat food guy. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's 
So we do know, we, it's, it's known in the area that there is a copperhead snake problem on our property. If we were to catch a copperhead snake in this, what do you think? How would we, I mean. Not cool? Why? Do we eat it? Sure. All right, this might turn into copperhead snake catch and cook. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Beauty chair you got there. We got helpers today. Max, think we got anything in our traps? Probably not. Do you say probably not? Yeah, that's a great attitude. That's Ozzy, great attitude. you are much more positive, aren't you? He's like, I'm hanging. I'm cold. <laughs> it's kind of chilly this morning. Day number two, we have returned to see if there's anything in our traps from, from the night. Oh, I see a bunch of bluegill around the trap. I don't know if I see anything in the trap per se. Ooh, I think something's in it, Max. Where's the cord thing? The cord thing? Yeah, you pulling it out right now? Yeah, we should, let's get a bucket first. That way we have something to put fish in it. Since it does in fact look like it was a success. Oh, that's enough for a couple little fish. All right, Max, you ready to get it? Yep. All right, this is like hunting crabs. We gotta pull it in fast once we get it, right? Yeah. Go for it. Pull it in, pull, pull, pull. What are you? Oh my God! There's a lot in there. I think I caught Dude, we one killed the game. The you think you got some on the way in? Yeah. God dang! What did we catch? Bluegill. Dude, it's even unzipped a little bit, and it still worked. We actually got some bigger bluegill in there too. This is how the that works. Boom! Wow. This thing had bad reviews on Amazon. It actually worked extremely well. I can't believe how big a bluegill it allowed in there. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Maybe he just got lucky. Looks like we got five bluegill overnight. This one's actually really good size. Okay. I can't grab fish. So for those of you guys that watched our fishing video, caught some of these dudes. God, this guy won't quit flipping around. <laughs> He's camera shy, but they have really cool, like, purpley bars on them, all these bluegill. And this guy's actually big enough that we could probably eat him if we wanted to. But I think for now, we're just going to uh, let some of these guys go. But we got some smaller ones in here too. And once again, if you watched the video last time, the bass crushed those as bait. But we kind of knew what was in this pond. We didn't catch anything too crazy. We didn't even catch any minnows in our minnow trap. We just caught kind of grown bluegill. Yeah. It's weird. So, let's see if we got anything over at the other pond, which is much more mysterious because the water isn't quite so clean. And then, should we use some for bait? Yeah. Hope we got some minnows at this one. Yeah, dude, we could still get that copperhead. Copperhead catch and cook. Here's our rope right here. You have bad memory or what's the deal? I don't know, I just don't remember. Memory or vision, which one's bad? I didn't there it is. Remember, we gotta do a fast pull again. Whoa, something big took it. Something big I took it. it something big took it. What's in there? It's a mystery. Nothing. Looks like there is food. All right, Max, you caught dog food <laughs> or cat food. All right, let's go. We got one more trap. Yeah, see, the, we, we had too many smart fish in this pond. That's what we're figuring out. Smart. Fish are a lot more intelligent. Dude, sure. what is that? I think it's a snake. Oh, they're all over there now. Is there those duck things? Oh, those are geese. Maybe the geese are getting we got, that's what makes the noise, those big ass geese. Geese duck party. Geese and ducks. The other day we came out here, there was like 10 deer all around the back side of the pond over here. So we're thinking about putting a deer feeder over there. What do you guys think we should do on that? I literally know nothing about deer or deer feeders or anything of that matter. So let us know what the best thing to do would be so we could I don't know, have deer out there to look at and maybe shoot, I don't know. All right, Max, where's this trap? So we're not smart and we can't find our trap either. So, we're gonna snag it with a crankbait. It's the easy way to do it, right, Max? Yep. We learned something though, didn't we? Next time, we're marking it with a stick. Shutting up though. It's gonna take a while. Oh, got it. You see me bow up into that right there, Max? That was a hook set and a half. 
It did go out further. That's it. Ah, oh, it's just a stick. Oh no, it's got our string on it though too. <laughs> Dude, did we get something? <laughs> no, we did not get anything. How do you know? Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, oh. what did we catch? <laughs> well, the snagging worked a little too well. Permanently snagged in there. Good news is we caught something that's actually smaller. Max, can you see what kind of species are in there? Yeah, bluegill. Looks like bluegills. Did we get anything else that's exciting? No turtles, no bass. No snakes? No snakes. We still got our little pouch of food right there. They didn't it's even good. get to the pouch. Well, I mean, they probably tried to, or maybe they were just swimming along and this guy caught him. Ozzy loves fish. Say good morning, fish. Say hi, fish. You want to touch him? Don't touch the top. Is that a fish? Watch him swim. He's crazy. Pretty. Look at the colors on that thing. That's like way different than the Nebraska ones. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, we didn't get any mysterious, crazy species, unfortunately. Although I did see a bunch of little frogs and little minnows and stuff flickering on the bank. But down in there, I think we got seven or eight bluegill. We're gonna use the smallest ones for bait uh, for the bass that live in this pond. Or there might be some catfish too. I actually thought I saw something that looked like a catfish swimming around the other day. Once again, we're still taking requests on what you guys think we should put in stock into this pond right here. Ponds, I guess I should say. There's more than one pond. Ooh, there's a bass right there waiting for us. Also want to uh, use this as an opportunity to remind you to get registered for the Slaunch Master Classic. You guys freaking killed the game with the announcement the other day and we've already have a ton of teams. Don't forget to go register if you want to fish that tournament because it's going to fill up really fast and once we're filled up, you'll be able to go. It's that simple. This was the deal the other day. We were catching bass right when we got here on like clouds and stuff, but they got wise once we caught them a few times. I know, shocking. And so what we're gonna do is put bluegill on the hook and they crushed the bluegill. Let's do it, Maxi. Okay, what you're looking for is the smallest bluegill in there. And we're gonna put them on your little hook here. This guy is probably the smallest one. So we'll give him a hook just right up here. Ready? Yep. And then we'll just kinda, make sure your rod's ready to rock. Your drag's good. You got some heavy line on here, bro. It's all you. Oh, shoot. Hell of a cast, bro. All right, now we want to keep real. Just real faster. You got to reel faster so you can keep up by the surface. There you go. Now let, him, let the bass kind of see because there's bass back there. See it? See how he's kind of swimming by the surface? Yeah. Oh, bass got him. Set the hook. Did you got him? Dude, he crushed it. You see the bass eat that? I did. <laughs> Deal. I don't see any marks on it though. I mean, I think that's a mark. Oh yeah, now I see it. All right, fire back out there. I don't think that bass felt you. I don't think he quite got the hook. I'd say keep doing that. Keep casting them out and reeling them in. I'm gonna put a bluegill on my rod and see if I can catch one too. You're getting good at casting that bluegill. You're gonna be ready for a big swim bay here soon, Max. Ozzy, can you say happy Easter? Happy Easter? So big. Are y'all done? All done. I don't think that's sign language for how done, but you're gonna clap now, aren't you? Can you clap? Say all done. No claps. Did you feed the dog? Yeah, the dog gets some too, huh? Okay, it's the next day. We just had had breakfast. It's Easter. Happy Easter to you, MFers. Even though this is like four days after Easter, five days after Easter. I don't even know. Okay, so we found this place that's really good to eat near us. It's a crawfish place, and I know. All you true Cajuns are probably like, you can't get good crawfish in Texas. You're not as good anyways. But it's called Buster's Crawfish, Becky? Buster's. Buster's in Porter? Porter, Conroe? I don't know. It was delicious, though. But I'm sure a lot of you guys have good recommendations. <laughs> I'm trying to talk here. But, uh, yeah, tell us where the best crawfish is in the area. Because we're big eaters around here, huh? You bet. I'll throw a little clip in maybe of Ozzy getting to try crawfish for the first time. He was all about it. Max is really all about it. Max Crawfishman. But yeah, drop some recommendations for some crawfish places to go check out. Even if they're far away, we'll travel to eat some good food. But um, yeah, we'll have to go do some more exploring. We didn't catch any fish. 
on the bluegill we caught in the pond. We had Max had one bite and rip his bluegill off a big bass, and hopefully we can get some stocked. But I'm actually about to go do some other stuff, a little out of town trip for the first term of the year. So tournament fishing, guys. I know a lot of you are probably like, oh, he moved into a new house with backyard ponds. He's just going to shoot pond videos every single day now. No, not true. We're about to go do a tournament, a national championship tournament. So next video will be the start of that adventure, meeting up with your favorite wizard man. It's going to be a good time. We're always accepting ideas for what to do in the pond, right, Max? Yep. Max came up with some, a couple pretty good ones already, but let us know. Thanks for watching some after joining here. Peace.